Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the new year with the Isle of Wight. I hope you all did have a good Christmas break and enjoyed the new year. Let's hope for a better one this year in 2021. And also a big shout out to every one of you who welcomed me back, commented, liked, watched the latest video. Really, really awesome to see you guys are still there and waiting to see the content. Obviously, it's been a little while since we have released stuff, but I promise you we'll be doing a lot more videos on a weekly basis. So what did we get up to last time round? Well, as you can see on screen now, we worked on the start of the beachfront. Now, if you watched the previous video, you'll know this is an inspired stroke recreation of the Shanklin beachfront, a place that's very close to my heart. I've been here many, many, many times before, and I really, really had fun starting this off. It's one of those things where when you start a build, it needs to have a focal point to then carry on from, if that makes sense. So I, I always, that's the way I build. I need to have a focus point that I concentrate on. That almost sets the target, the goal, the detail level to then advance around it. So I think we put a really good detailed build in place here, which we can now carry on and expand from this. And this beach trunk does have a lot of different areas that we're really gonna home in on and take advantage of building and having some fun with. So we've already created this uh, mini golf area and a little cafe on stilts and a, almost like a little boat fixing area, so to speak. Um, but we're gonna expand on that. Today, we're gonna carry on just slightly to the left of that area and we're gonna build the second uh, golf course and also kind of like a fairground I guess you'll see it quite often if you're not familiar to the UK it certainly is something that's very often seen at the bigger locations of uh, the seafronts um, where there's more attraction so that's what we're going to work on today we're going to build the second golf course which again really 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 had fun doing this I don't know what it is about the building of golf courses but these crazy golf courses just bring back me, bring me back to my youth, I think. And uh, when you actually put them down on here, even though they're not actually, you know, you're not getting people playing on it and it's not animated in that sense, um, but it's really fun to build and see it all develop. So we're going to start on that and then we're going to move over to some of the, uh, the fairground rides, I guess is probably another way of describing it. But before we move on, also a big thank you to all you guys who commented on the new logo and the new branding really positive feedback and i'm really pleased with that because i am really happy with how it all looks now and um yeah i think we're going to leave it as it is for now um <laughs> it takes a lot of time to work on these branding changes and getting things set up for videos so i'm pleased we're now at a stage where i've got a nice template of a brand image that i'm going to keep to which is also going to allow me to create these videos a lot quicker and just be a bit more productive because time is always at the essence with myself at the moment um, hence why there wasn't many videos out over the last sort of six months or so but we have a bit of rhythm now and yeah there's a lot of videos pending to come out so be warned there will be weekly videos um, so yeah if you're not already please do feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those and if you do enjoy the video at the end please hit that like button and obviously comment let me know your thoughts and feelings on this build or perhaps something you want to see me build in the future or let me know what you've been building. It's always good to get inspiration for my next build from you guys. Now back to the build, you'll see that I have started to overlap some of these um, golf foundations, courses, what you want to class them as. But the issue we do have is there's not many of these type of um, props on the workshop and that's obvious because it's not a common thing in, in building cities. Um, so we have overlapped some of these to try and create a different looking course to the one next door. We don't want them to look both identical. But another way we're gonna differentiate both of these against each other is having a different theme. And this actual theme of this um, golf course um, is actually a pirate theme. So we use PO to um, scale down one of the ships, which looks to me kind of like a pirate ship <laughs> um, and we're going to go with a different sort of theme different rocks here to create another waterfall fountain 
um, which is very common when you're going to these crazy golf mini golf courses you always get some sort of a fountain or some sort of water feature around it um, and I decided rather than actually creating a real uh, water pond or pool I just went with these assets these props which work really well to be fair they are really highly detailed um, and actually do look really realistic so that was perfect for that and we've put down some barrels and some different rock faces to try and keep the, the pirate theme so to speak um, so that was challenging we did also find these sharks which <laughs> not sure how realistic that is um, certainly not in this little pond here but it adds to a bit of the uh, the story of the golf course itself so we're just trying to do as best we can on that front but these waterfalls really are game changers I'm not sure how many of you guys have used these but they look so realistic it's incredible and the fact that we are now able to get some animation props into the game really does change the way you play because you can create so much well so much more stuff now um, I mean you can create a really realistic waterfall now with these uh, these drop-in waterfall props on top of the actual real realistic flow of the water the two of them just combined so well so a huge huge thank you to everyone who has been putting stuff on the workshop over the Christmas period and obviously before we are all grateful for the work that you put in which also allows us to build new and exciting projects which is why the game with such a you know a, quite a quite a long and old outdated game now still seems like it's in the modern times and that's down to the creators so next time you subscribe to an asset prop or mod or anything on the workshop hit the like button or leave them a little comment to say thank you So you're probably asking yourself what on earth is this strange path well this is actually going to be a kids go-karting track now in the actual location this is actually built it is exactly like this it's purely just an oval shape with some very basic and slow go-karts we're not talking about proper adult go-karts here it's a kids sort of adventure area so we're going to use these tires just to create a barrier between the two and yeah just create a little go-kart we've got these really cool little go-kart um, vehicle props as well that we can use it's not going to be functional but again we're just going for the aesthetics of this build itself and this actual area is really really cool if you haven't been to shanklin seafront before or if you're planning to go to yard of white at some point in the future shanklin really does have a really good kid friendly and also adult friendly um location where you can have so much fun here there's amusement parks there's these little fairground rides you've got the beautiful beach as well there places to eat places to see it's a really really cool location i would really highly really highly recommend people visit the island for a very nice break you know it's a really cool place to go so this area here now we're working on we can't create exactly the same which is why i keep saying this is not a recreation of shanklin beach inspired build of shanklin beach um, i want to build as much as i can that looks the same as what it would look like just because you know that's why i've done this build in particular it's a really cool area to build on um, and these particular um, buildings stroke props are functional in the sense of they are animated and we should hopefully get people coming over and actually using them as well so that is a bonus because we'll get the aesthetics of a moving and life um, life place uh, which will be really good it's um, something that we all strive for I think when we're doing these detailed builds you sometimes get to a point where you've done so much detail or so much PO work that 
you realize that there's no people walking around and that's just not realistic so that's one thing I'm really trying to target with all of my builds now in particular this whole beachfront I'm gonna try and get it to a stage where it is rammed ram packed full of people which is what you'd expect to see when you go to a seaside probably not so much now during these strange times but certainly in the summer which is what my build is meant to be based upon so fingers crossed we managed to achieve that For those of you who have been following the channel for quite some time, you'll know that recently we have been looking at the opportunity to allow you guys to build something for the series. Now I decided on a farmhouse because it's a relatively small build and quite easy for me to deploy on the island. And well, I wanted to get you guys involved in the series a little bit more. So if you are interested in building something like this, check out the description details below on how you can do so. This week we have White Walker. Now this is a very different build than what we've put down so far. It is a little bit bigger than what we was hoping for, but it worked perfectly for this particular area. And what I love about this particular build, which is why I couldn't break it down, is it all makes sense. You've got the farmhouse, you've got the barns, you've got the cattle area, you've got the farming actual agricultural area, and they all work so well together so highly detailed i really love the idea of having this extra building being built on the side makes you wonder whether it's another farmhouse or perhaps they're building a bigger barn or something like that really does add to the feel of this build love the choice of the buildings as well and this particular shot here looks so realistic a great choice of foliage i can really sense the feeling of there is nice crops here to be brought up and it's a real farm in that sense so all in all, a fantastic build. I love the addition of this little lake. Shame it's not as realistic as the true game water mechanics, but I love the concept. Love those um, leading over. I think they're willows. Um, all in all, a brilliant build. Thank you very much, White. Really appreciate that. A great addition. So next up, we need to add in some form of car park. Now I will be honest, I found it extremely difficult to create working car parks that look British. Now don't get me wrong, the American park car parks and everything are always huge luxury looking built, um, car parks, well not so much luxury but you know what I mean, they're very large um, and the ones in the workshop look amazing for those builds and they function so well. For this area, it's not so easy to create. Now, the difficulty I have is a lot of the car parks around the UK and certainly on this beachfront are just basically a bit of gravel or something. You know, it's nothing spectacular. It's just a little lot of land that's been allocated to parking. Um, and they often have an in and out um, sort of a, a forward flow system in that sense. And they're not anything special. This is the closest I can find to getting that to work. Um, but the road on the left just seems like it's a lot of wasted space. So if anyone's got any ideas or concepts to create more UK looking car parks, do let me know because I am intrigued to see what everyone else has been using. Um, I've done a lot of uh, just plots of land and creating ones that aren't functional, which are easy enough to do. Um, but it'd be nice to get a lot more functional ones looking realistic really would be now you'll see on screen we are working on one of the key focal points i feel other than the beach why people come to uk seaside areas and it's to go on the amusements if you're not aware what the amusements are it's basically an arcade very very much the same as an arcade you'll go in there there'll be machines in there to go on you'll be able to play games there'll be the 2p machines where you can put money in to try and win money and uh, there'll be a sort of a gambling over 18 section as well in there as well so i really wanted to have that concept here and this particular arcade has been on the workshop for quite some time i believe um i forget who who created them but they've been on the workshop for so long i have actually never used them and i've always had them in my um 
my collections are waiting to be used. I've just never found the right moment to do that. But here we are, perfect opportunity now to show off these buildings. And despite them being quite old buildings, boy, do they still work really, really well. The only downside in my personal opinion, and it obviously is down to the LUT I'm using, etc., etc., but the actual color of the buildings are not quite suitable for my build with my LUT. Um, but you'll see a bit later on in the video, we use the uh, move it function to change the color. And you'll see me doing that very shortly where we can change the whole appearance of the color of the buildings and we are able to make it look a lot more suitable for this area. Another amazing addition to the mod. You, When you think that the Move It mod can't get any better, it does. <laughs> um, I know that feature has been used in other um, mods as well, but they, it works so well for this. It really, really does. Now there certainly is some assets and buildings in the workshop that I kind of forgot were there, but they still work really well. Now there's a lot of seaside buildings um, which have been on the workshop for quite some time and I think that they work really well for this sort of a build. They do have that feel of a seaside approach um, and they fit so well. I mean, as I say, some of them are really, really old buildings. They've been on the workshop for probably three, four, maybe you know very early days when it first came out but the quality of it and the way it works just does for this build it, it really really does and um, you'll see me here experimenting with certain ones we're trying to pick out the best ones to suit this particular theme some of them already have bits outside like the cafes have got some tables etc so we do end up using a bit of um, prop it up to get rid of those now, one thing you will notice as well is the apartments, etc., that are on the seafront always have some sort of a, a shop or business underneath it, whether it's a cafe, an ice cream parlor, or anything like that. You always tend to see those underneath. So I'm trying to recreate that here with um, using some of these uh, building crops, which um, you may recognize the same sort of theme that we did in Monaco. So it's nice to be using some of the... Um, the skills that I learnt during Monaco to uh, bring into this build as well, which is always fun. Now, again, going back to the car park scenario, did struggle again with this idea, but I found a few little ways around it. So I'm really experimenting each time I build a car park now to see what the best way of doing so is. Um, again, it's not always going to be perfect, and sometimes we're going to have to just do car parks that are not functional and put cars in there doesn't always matter as long as there is one or two functioning car parks in a big area um, I find that is possible and it's fine so here you'll see it, uh, me just putting down some decals um, and it actually works out quite well because we have a bit more space now on the left hand side which um, we'll see shortly that we do add in some um, different areas we put down this section here for parking bikes down motorbikes etc um, so it just opens up your imagination to create some different type of builds within that. But I would be very keen to know what you guys do with your car park builds. How do you approach these scenarios? Do you have a certain method? Do you not even bother with car parks? Do you just have the roads with the car parking options on there? Be interested to know what your thoughts and feelings are on that because there are so many different ways of doing so and everyone does it in a slightly different manner. I really do love these cliffs. The cliffs are perfect for this build because that's exactly how it looks in real life. The only downside I would say is I wish the grass on top, the texture of the grass was the same as my um, own grass that I'm using in my theme, um, which, you know, is what it is. Um, uh, so that's why I'm adding a lot of the trees and foliage above it. Not only is that what it looks like, um, in the real life location but also it takes away some of the focus off of the um, diff slightly different kind of grass but once we build everything around it you're not going to really notice that because there's not going to be a lot 
of just solid grass on its own. And also it, work, it looks so much better than it would do if we left just the white cliffs. I just don't think it would have the same feel of the build itself. It's nice to have a bit of variation on these white cliffs, despite the white cliffs being so iconic and beautiful to look at. I think it's nice to have a bit of variance within that, which um, I think we pulled off pretty well um, on this one. Now, you'll see that we had a bit of a space behind here um, between the buildings and the cliff face. And as well as putting the foliage down, I wanted to add a few sort of back car parks and little roads to network up. Um, if you imagine people delivering goods to these shops, they're gonna probably more likely go around the back of the shop to do so rather than stopping on the main sea or uh, well, the main beachfront so we've added a few bits around there and worn up the roads a little bit to make it feel a bit more realistic and we've added in some of these driveways to create the actual gaps in the road for you know to show that there is something up there one thing that i do wish was easier to do would be adding something like that to the road networks already in game um, because a lot of the times you build houses there is a massive curb which the vehicle would have to get up to get to its own driveway which we know is not realistic but it is what it is and on that note we are pretty much at the end of this episode could be working on some really cool stuff next week but i hope you really enjoyed this particular video i had so much fun building this and the beachfront really is coming alive you'll see that coming up very shortly in these cinematics but Really, really pleased with how this has all come together. We really are getting a nice look of the beachfront now. We are starting to get some nice tier results as we spoke about in the last episode. And yeah, just really happy with everything, how it's come apart. We've added some detail. The cars are in the car park. Things just look alive. And on that note, I'm going to leave you be. Have a good week and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching and all the best. Thank you.